Hello Wonder Achievers, this is a fun one. If you're new here, my name is Noah, I've been making YouTube videos since I was 15. And if you're old here, welcome back. Today YouTube want me to shout out my top 5 favourite YouTube creators for this episode of YouTube Edition. I've chosen to show you some of my favourite LGBT and or neurodivergent creators today because I am both of those things and if you like my videos, there's a likelihood that you may be also. Just saying, not trying to diagnose anyone. Before we get into that though, I want you guys to comment down below your favourite 3 YouTubers and I will check them out. So first up we have ADHD Love, Rory has ADHD. Rich doesn't, and they are in love. They love each other. It's so tidy in here. I've been doing my system. What's your system? Well, I haven't showered all week, so there's no towels to pick up. I've worn the same clothes all week, so there's no clothes just strewn over the house. I've also just ordered takeaway and haven't cooked at all, so there's been no washing up. And to be honest, I've been quite lonely, so I've kind of just like holed up in the bedroom. A win's a win. So yeah, that was them. I have ADHD myself, and I find their videos painfully relatable. Their videos are hilarious, I promise you'll love them, and I've linked them in the description below. Next up, we have Yo Samdi Sam, and she makes videos on autism and neurodiversity. When I'm out of the house, or when I was at school, or working in an office, I believe that that my autistic traits became a lot more noticeable. Out of the house, I'm getting some kind of novelty and stimulation. So the ADHD monster within is pretty satisfied because, hey, we're doing something new, we're getting out. But the things that I can't control out of the house is the sensory environment, and it's a less predictable social environment too. And those are the things that my autistic self starts to struggle with. So I've recently come to realize that I am most likely autistic. I'm actually on the wait list to get a diagnosis. But this was the first video that I had ever seen of somebody explaining my exact experience. Her stuff is also linked below, definitely recommend. Next up, we have Iris Olympia, who is a non-binary creator who makes content about styling and androgynous fashion. And here we have them styling their jorts. 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 Honestly, I'd been wanting this pair of jorts for like a year and I finally got them. Google star jorts, you'll find them. So they make the kind of content that I would absolutely love to have had when I was first coming to terms with my transness. They're just really cool, I love to see them come up with outfits. If you also want to dress cool or you just want to style some jorts, then you should check out their channel below. We also have Meg from I'm Autistic, Now What? who, you guessed it, makes videos about autism. Often autistic people do something called echolalia, well they'll repeat what someone says. It's more It's more there. Where's the baby gun? She taught me a lot about autism and especially about the traits displayed as autistic people that were raised as girls. So if you're interested in that, you want to learn more, then you should definitely check her out. Also, those homes video in that video inspired me to look at my old home videos to see if I displayed any autistic traits and yeah, they, they were there. <laughs> Big on the hand flapping. And last but not least, we have Ez Butler, who is a queer trans man and honestly just an absolute sweetheart. Something that's really fun about having colorful hair again is like little babies look at you and they look so shocked and excited about the fact that you have colorful hair because they're probably thinking, how is that possible? He also has this really cool series where he shows you him doing new things to show you that it's okay, which I love. Definitely go check out his stuff if you're looking for a mood boost. So those are a few of my favorite creators. Let me know who you think should be in the next episode of YouTube Edition and make sure to check out the other edition episodes on YouTube UK. Have a good day, Ardo. See you later, losers. Goodbye.